For years, I've wanted to go to Fernando de Noronha, an unspoiled chain of islands off the coast of Brazil. I wanted to experience the purity of the nature. And I wanted to learn more about capoeira, a form of martial arts and dance that had its origins in Brazil. So when my friend Pedro told me he was going, I knew I had to get out there. So I made it my goal on this trip to connect with the flow of life on Neronia. On Concession Beach, we met up with the Angola Capoeira School, who practices the most traditional form of this martial art. I was always drawn to capoeira because you move in connection with the other person instead of against them. So it feels more like a dance than a fight. Capoeira is a thing that helps you a lot to live your life. It's something that you don't control. You need to deal with what you are receiving. It's like here in Noronha, you cannot control the weather, you cannot control how big the waves are going to be. You know, it's a raw island. So what do you do with what the nature gives you? Those things that you cannot control, if you play with them, you will be a happy person. Next, we met up with Pedro's friend, Maera, to see her side of the island. She's a professional free diver, so I wanted to see how diving has affected her attitude toward life. My first time free diving, I was really afraid. But then, I learned how to flow in the water. Free diving is the time that I open my mind and meditate with the island. It's just me and the ocean. When my mind is quiet, that moment is the real important moment. Maera introduced us to her friend, Mariana, who works with the Tamar Project to save the sea turtles. Eu vou entrar agora no mar para tentar capturar uma tartaruga marinha para fazer a coleta de dados, né, que é um trabalho de pesquisa que a gente realiza aqui na ilha. Tartarugas, então elas me trazem muito ensinamento de vida, né, como ser forte, como ser resiliente. Elas são seres que conquistaram meu coração. After a few days on Neronia, I started to see the flow of life around me. Being at peace with nature and with each other. And if I can keep this feeling with me, I know I'll be a better person and a happier person. That's the art of flow.